Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about the Hippurate Hydrolysis Test. This test is one of many different possible biochemical tests that can be used to distinguish different types of bacteria based on their metabolic capabilities. And in this test in particular, Hippurate is able to be hydrolyzed, that means using water to break bonds. So Hippurate is able to be broken down by water um, if an enzyme called hippuricase is present. And so if hippuricase is present, it uses water to break down hippurate to make the products benzoic acid and glycine. Glycine is something you've probably heard of before. Glycine is one of the different amino acids that are building blocks for proteins. It's the, the simplest amino acid with having a, um, a, the simplest kind of R group on it. So glycine is one of the products of this reaction, and it is the product that in this hippurate hydrolysis test is detected by an oxidizing agent, a chemical known as the ninhydrin reagent. And so if glycine is present because hippurate has been broken down, then this will give a deep purple color to your tube. Before we go on to talk about the method, let's take a minute to mention some positive examples. These are clinically relevant examples. What I mean by that is these are examples of hippurate hydrolysis positive bacteria that one might see in a patient who's sick in the hospital, for example. And these include Campylobacter jejuni, Listeria monocytogenes, <clears throat> and a few different um, types of group B streptococci. So all of these would be able to break down this hippurate because they have a hippuricase enzyme. Now let's talk about the method, the procedure that is used to carry out this test. <coughs> Excuse me. You start by adding 0.1 to 0.2 milliliters of sterile distilled water to a sterile test tube. Um, that's not a lot, you know, it's just kind of a few drops to the test tube. And then you inoculate that water with an 18 to 24 hour bacterial suspension. So this is the bacteria that has been collected from a patient that you're trying to identify what that bacterium is. And this inoculum does need to be <clears throat> um, quite heavy. And what I mean by that is if you don't use enough bacteria, you might get a false negative test. So you're supposed to have this 18 to 20 hour, 24 hour bacterial suspension. This means that bacteria are in that exponential growth phase. They are very healthy and happy and growing rapidly. And so you take um, a pretty heavy amount of that suspension and inoculate it into the tube. Then you place a rapid hippurate disc. This is just a sterile disc that has hippurate on it into this mixture. So at this point, all the mixture has is the bacterial suspension and whatever enzymes those bacteria have, as well as sterile distilled water and a rapid hippurate disc. So there's no other possible source of glycine, which means that when the ninhydrin reagent is added, which happens um, after an incubation, so you're incubating not even for a very long period of time, just a couple of hours at pretty close to human body temperature, then you add this 0.2 milliliter ninhydrin reagent. And remember that the ninhydrin reagent if glycine is present, it's going to react with glycine to result in this deep purple color. So you add 0.2 milliliters of the ninhydrin reagent, incubate for 15 to 30 minutes, again, not a long period of time. Some other biochemical tests that are separating or, or identifying bacteria based on their metabolic capabilities can take a couple of days to carry out. This one, you can do same same day, same afternoon. Um, so after that second incubation of just sort of half an hour or less, you observe the color. If you have a positive bacterium, so one of these or another example of a bacterium that's um, able to use hippuricase to break down hippurate, that's going to give you this um, deep purple, sort of violet, um, maybe kind of sometimes bluish, but this deep purple color in your tube. Whereas if the bacterium is not capable of this reaction, it's not going to produce glycine when given this hippurate source, uh, and that means that you're going to have a colorless liquid in the bottom of your tube. Sometimes, um, depending on what other things may have been present in those um, negative bacteria, 
Um, you might get a small color change, maybe slightly pink, slightly yellow, um, but usually colorless or a very, very, very faint color. Nothing like the deep, dark, readily recognizable purple that you get in a positive example. Um, so if you are interested in learning about other kinds of biochemical tests, things like the indole test, the lecithinase test, the citrate test, um, check out my playlist on um, biochemical tests to identify bacteria. And that's it for today. So thank you for watching Biology Professor.